Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing and showing you how to use this mega wise slow masticating juicer. I'm just starting out in the juicing world and I was doing a lot of research on juicers and just the whole juicing community and came across this and decided that this would be perfect for me as a beginner juicer. So this is how it comes boxed and it was actually a lot lighter than I was expecting. I think I was expecting like a heavier, like more bulkier type of equipment, but this is actually very compact and very light. So here's the instruction manual. It's super easy. It's got pictures. I'll show you in a second, but I did want to highlight this uh, warranty card because I love when companies put this warranty card in. They give you their support number and they're just really like all about the user experience. So that's a plus in my book. Like I said, the instructions are very easy. There's pictures there. We love instructions with pictures. So good job on that. And now let's move on to all of the parts of this juicer. First you get a cleaning brush. It's to clean the small crevices and basically just the mesh part that the juice comes out of. Uh, the top part is harder bristles and the brush is a little bit softer. So that's really good to have the two varieties. So here is the lid that goes on top of the chute and I'll show you how it looks. I'm actually going to speed up the rest of this unboxing. That way I'm not keeping you here forever, but I will show you um, what it all comes inside of it as I'm unboxing it. So this is actually packaged really well, so I'm very happy about that. But here, they're all individually packaged. Here is the containers. One's a juice container, one's the pulp container. There's the tamper. There is the actual machine itself. I'm slowing this down so I can show you um, the buttons that come on this juicer. So this machine comes with four buttons. There is the reverse button, soft button, hard button, and off. And I will go through it when I'm actually juicing and have the entire machine set up. So after I washed and dried all of the pieces, I was actually intimidated by all of them, but the assembly is actually super, super easy. I mean, basically you just put them all together, line these arrows up right here, and that's basically it. I was very surprised at how easy it was. And then you just twist that in, lock it in, and you are good to go. That's it. So excited it was that easy. I have set up my juicing container, my pulp container. I'm gonna put the lid on and I'll put the tamper on and then I will show you what it looks like when it's all ready to go. I love the look of it. I think it's very plain and simple and that's just kind of my style and my vibe. So I really, really like it. After you plug it in, the buttons will light up. The reverse button is to reverse the auger in case like you have fruits or vegetables stuck in there. You can just reverse it and it'll come out. I haven't had a chance to use it because nothing had got stuck while I was juicing, but it is there. Then you have the soft button and the hard button. The softer is a slower RPM and the hard is a faster RPM for like obviously harder materials. I am using hard for this juice recipe, but I know soft is for like uh, tomatoes or grapes or just softer fruits and veggies like that. I'm going to be honest with you. I am just surprised at how easy this actually is. I don't know if any of the other juices are easy, but this one is 100% just, I'm just throwing them in there and it's doing all of the work. I'm barely pushing down on this tamper. It's just, it's going through it. Another thing I wanted to point out, um, and I'm sorry that you can't hear it in this video, but the noise of this juicer is a lot lower than what I thought it would be and what like I imagined it would be. It's unbelievably quiet and that makes me happy because now I know that I can have a juice in the morning without waking up my family members and it's just, it's awesome. That is a great feature that I like. So the ingredients of this juice was a cucumber, celery, apples, and pears. And as you can see, I have no issues. I have no problems with uh, any of this food that is passing through here. So I'm really happy about that. There's actually not a lot of foam in the juice container, which is also a big plus. I don't like foamy juices and I just, I don't like the way that the foam tastes. So this one actually has little to no foam at all. And as I'm finishing up here, I will show you the juice and I will show you the pulp. And I will also note that the juice had zero pulp in it. It was very smooth. 
very liquidy, and that's the type of juice that I am looking for. Zero pulp. So looking at the pulp, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like super, super dry or what, but this pulp was not dry, but it wasn't wet either. It's just basically damp. I tried to squeeze it as hard as I could to see if any liquid would come out and none did. Um, so what you see on my hand is just the wetness from that pulp. I was contemplating sending this pulp through the juicer again to see if any liquid would come out. But at this point, I was actually happy with the amount of liquid that I did have. I It, it fills up a whole glass, so I'm not upset about it. But here is the juice. As you can see, it's just not a lot of foam and it actually tastes amazing, like so smooth. I can't even describe it to you. It was really, really smooth and I was very thankful for that. Overall, I'm super happy with this juicer. I think it did a really good job. Um, I think that it's a great product for anybody who is just starting out on juicing or who is scared to spend a whole lot of money on a juicer if you weren't going to make it a lifestyle.